Welcome to this segment of Island Really Really News. I'm your host, Ryan Hitz. And I'm Carly Swofford. In today's segment, we're going to be discussing the legendary City Lights Pocket Poetry Series. Inspired by the French poetry series, Poetis à Jugia, Lawrence Ferling Hetty created his own version in 1955 out of his bookstore in San Francisco, California. Ferling Hetty's plan was to bring together poets and writers to express themselves and talents while also reading other poets' material. Wow, that's something else, isn't it? Real quick, I just wanted to mention that uh, Ferling Hetty has three degrees. He has a graduate, a master's, and a PhD. And he also served in the U U.S. military during the World War II as a Navy boat commander. That's just remarkable, don't you think, Carly? Correct, but sadly after seeing the bomb destruct the land and the people became pacifists. Wait, at pacifists, <clears throat> were they like hippies, right? Almost, but they're people who do believe a dispute between nations can be resolved peacefully. Interesting. Well, we're going to take a quick break here, and you're about to hear a word from our sponsors. Sell, sell, sell! Buy books now! City Lights Book School! San Francisco, California! Go now! Hi, welcome back to Islander Literary News. Later on the show, we're going to see an off-scene segment with Ryan where he will follow up with the City Lights Pocket series. But right now, we have a special guest in the house where he's going to discuss one of the most famous poems out of the series, Howl by Allen Ginsberg. We'd like to introduce to you Hunter Mims, a poet from Austin, Texas. Oh, very cool. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. No problem. Oh, glad you enjoyed yourself, huh? Oh, thanks for having me. Uh, I'd say far from it. Uh, you're talking to a four-year honorary customer. <laughs> I bet those discounts really come in handy, don't they? Yeah, they do. Uh, my collection of books is really getting out of hand. Can you tell the audience back home what the poem Howl is about? Yeah, I found that. Uh, what brings your attention to my poem? Like, uh, what year was the poem published? I believe it was published in 1956. Can I ask you, do you know what kind of writing technique Ginberg uses? Yeah, he actually uses a uh, technique called parataxis. What is parataxis? I think that's where they keep everything uh, short and simple, don't they? Exactly, it is. And um, Hal actually uses three parts, not just one. I heard a sound recording of just one part. See, I heard the reason why for that is because he didn't feel like talking anymore. Yeah, I guess some people just throw in the towel when, they, when they're not feeling it anymore. Well, Hunter, we want to thank you again for coming in today. Uh, hopefully you can join us soon. Hey, thanks for having me in, guys. Nice Hi, there. Welcome on. back to Islander Literary News. Just in case you got, I'm your host, Ryan Haynes. And I'm Carly Swilford. Um, In a couple seconds, I'm about to show you a little segment I put together. It's going to be fun for you folks back home. I'm excited, and I'm sure viewers back home are, too. So, Ryan, what do you have in store for us today? Well, let me tell you. I went around town to talk to a few people and ask them a couple questions. Questions? What kind of questions? Questions about poetry and involving little money. Who chain themselves to subways for the endless ride from Battery to Holy Bronx on Benzedrine until the noise of wheels and children brought them down. Hey guys, nice for you to join us today. Um, here doing our cover for Islander Literary News. Um, what we're going to be doing today is asking our guest here, Micah, a few questions about the City Lights Pocket Poet Series. And then we're going to give her a chance to win some cash and hopefully go home with some money. So, Micah, how are you feeling today? Feeling pretty good, Ryan. How are you doing? Doing pretty good, doing pretty good. So, uh, what we're going to do here, I'm going to ask you four simple questions. All right. And if you get them right, you have a chance to win $100, so every question is worth $25. All right, cool. I can use that cash in my pocket. Woo! There it is. There it is. So, um, so are you ready for the games to begin? Yes. Very All right, so the topic of the game is going to be all at the City Lights. Wow, I remember that from right. Professor Murphy at TMUCC. Great, so the first question, name one poem from the Pocket series. Easy, True Minds by Marie Ponzar. Correct, that's $25. Yay! Second question, what year was the poem published? I know it's in the 50s, I'm going to go with 1956. You are? Correct! <laughs> Show me the money. <laughs> okay, third question. Name a poet that inspired Ponsa to write her true minds. I'm going to have to go with the old man himself, William Shakespeare. Micah, you are correct. Three out of three. Thank you, thank you. Alright, for the fourth and final question, are you ready? Yeah, I am. How would you describe Ponsat's true mind? 
A. Soft and sweet. B. Lay. C. Tough and combative. I'm going to have to go with C. Tough and combative. Micah? You are correct. Thank you so much. I just want to thank TMUCC Professor Murphy and Islander News. Well, Micah, here's the money that you won. A hundred flat out dollars. I am going to have to go to the bar. There you have it, folks. It pays off to know your poetry. What a great segment and a great feeling to win some free cash. Oh, yeah. Money is always great. Well, that'll be it for tonight. Join us next week where we talk about the first flying pig. Again, I'm Carly. I'm Ryan. And this is your Islander Literary News. Good night, Islanders. Islanders.